Hi, I'm Alma from twinsmommy.com. I'm going to quickly show you how to create a freebie incentive for your email subscribers using Google Slides. All right, so once you get into Google Slides, you'll see that you have a lot of themes that you can pick if you want, right? But most uh, freebie incentives should be more of a page layout for like a legal size, okay? So um, let's change the page up. So we go to File, go to Page Setup, Custom, and we're gonna make this eight and a half by 11 inches, which is the standard size for a paper. Um, now, you can use the preset themes or you can just create your own and you can have fun with it. I mean, isn't that awesome? You can also change the background color. So it looks like for this um, particular theme, you can only change one of the colors, which is yellow. So if if that works with your brand, that's fine. Actually, these colors sort of work with my brand um, already. But here you can just have fun. So that looks kind of nice. So with your freebie incentive using Google Slides, it is very customizable. Like I said, you can change the background color. So I can make this whole thing a completely different color if I wanted to. So if I wanted to, to make, there you go, or if I wanted to make it orange or whatever I wanted to, right? So that looks pretty neat. All right, I'm just having fun here. You can also um, change out the layout. So if your freebie incentive is more than one page, well then you can add these different pages to your um, freebie incentive, which is kind of neat. So they're already related to the theme that you picked. You can also add shapes. So if you wanna add some text boxes or some boxes for people to, when they print this up, they can write arrows, a um, lot of little different icons and, and whatnot there. You can also add images. So um, you can upload any kind of free stock photos that you have, um, or you can just search. Now make sure that when you search that you are um, making sure that those are common, um, creative commons so that you can use them for your freebie or for your blog. All right, so let's get to it. So. Um, I'm just going to make this white again. <laughs> Makes it easy to work with. Okay. So with a, a freebie incentive, you want this to be sort of either a quick win or a valuable resource guide of some sort to help a person um, go through a transition. All right. So for this demonstration, we're just going to do a quick win win for, um, for postpartum moms. All right. So I'm just going to use this theme and um, I'm going to create something like the five day get fit plan for postpartum moms. So I'm going to do something like that. Now I can move this box anywhere I want. I can move it up here if I wanted to or, um, oops, or I can move it down here. So. Again, you can also play around with the color too. Um, there we go. I can add my name and my blog's name if that was what I was gonna do for my blog. And maybe I can put that down here like that. Okay. So maybe I wanna add a little picture here. So I'm gonna to go to search for um, exercise mom. And let's pick, she looks pretty fit, eh? Um, okay. And this was Okay, I'm just looking. So once you click on it, you can see this was on Pixabay. And usually photos from Pixabay are ones that you can use for your blog post for free. And you don't need to attribute them or anything like that. So I'm gonna select that one. And it's populating, so there it is. I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller to fit. There we go. 
everything else is set so I can't change anything else so that looks good so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as my first page and then like I said I'm gonna go to um, over here to create the second page so let's do this for the second page and um, since this is a five day get fit plan I'm gonna just put uh, day one um, get the right clothing oops I spelled right wrong oops <laughs> ah, having fun here all right so like I said I'm just making this up and you sort of get the picture so here maybe I want to add um, a shape so I'm going to add um, a box here and maybe make like a checklist so let's add let's make this um, that color and we're gonna make whoops we're gonna make little che check boxes so I'm just gonna make a small box like that and I want this to be transparent hmm maybe if I make it white that's not too bad. All right, so I'm going to click on it. Uh, control C to copy and Control V to paste. And I'm just gonna paste them down here to make my checkbox. So you can have fun with this, like I said. Um, Google Slides gives you some medium lines to help you with placement, which is quite nice. Let's see if I can squeeze one more. All right, so um, I can add a text box here and um, I don't know, just get, put some words here. So like shorts and maybe I'll put something like a, a particular favorite brand. So shorts, I can say something like Lululemon. And what's great with this is that you can also put some affiliate links. So when you start creating your freebies, you can somehow try to find a way to um, link to some uh, affiliate links or whatnot. So if I highlight and press Control K, I can set a link. So if I had an affiliate link for Lululemon, I would use that, but I don't. Okay, so, um, so there's shorts. I'm gonna have to create another text box and I can put um, light weight jacket and just go down the list that way. So that could be the next. So if you can look here as a preview, that could be the next page, right? So you always wanna put the URL um, and your name with every, um, I'm just copying that, with every uh, page that you have so it's branded. So there we go. Move it up. Okay, so let's pretend that's the first page and then let's create one more page and um, let's make this mm, that one. All right, so this is day two. Um, basic exercise plan and so we're gonna make that the basic exercise plan for day two so if you want to center this you can just go down to um, this little tab and click that you can change the font if you want to you can change the size as well um, so you can have an exercise plan right here um, and there's more things you can play with um, if you want to create lines or arrows um, that looks nice. Let's see if I can insert, I can insert a chart if I wanted to. Let's see. So maybe if I want to be fancy, I can put the, maybe the, the minutes for each exercise. So have, um, five or four different exercise plans and then, um, show the length for each of those maybe 
if I wanted to be to do a different way to show this basic exercise plan. Um, you can add more pictures if you wanted to. So for this one, I'm just going to write a text box and put, you know, uh, crunches, um, lunges, and the bicycle. What are those called? Bicycle crunches? Bicycle, bicycle crunches. Can you tell it's been a while for me? <laughs> All right, so there you go. So this is um, how you use Google Slides. And when you're done, all you have to do is go to file and save, download as a PDF right there. So you download it and then you can upload it to the back end of your WordPress media library, get that link, and then you can put that in your email. All right, so that's how you create a um, freebie using Google Slides.